You want the new what? PlayStation 5? How much the new PlayStation 5 cost? It's not even out yet. $800? That's the projected price? Boy, you better get a job. Listen, I, I, I know you're 10. You can do something. These freaking kids. See, the problem is, you don't know how much I make. You don't know how much I make. Hey, Ross, where my money makes money, it's a great idea. It's a perfect idea. It's a sound idea to let your kids know how much money you make. These kids do not understand money. And I made another video, and you can reference that right here. Teach your kids money. Because when you teach your kids money, and they understand money, when them jokers run around the store grabbing stuff off the shelves, they're like, Mom, buy this. Mom, buy this. Dad, buy this. Dad, buy this. Oh, boy, you better go sit your little ass down. Are you serious? You know how much money I make? Listen, listen. That's why I'm in Walmart and not Target or Target. I'm in Wally World, okay? I'm in Wally World. And guess what? I'm in a low discounted store looking for discounts on clearance. <laughs> looking for discounts on clearance. Are you serious? You know how much money I make? Listen. First and foremost, do you understand where we just drove from? An apartment. Do you understand the bucket, the hoopty, the low budget car, the use and abuse, chop shop car that I just drove up in? And then you want an $800 PS5 that's not even out yet? You need to get a job or be intelligent about it. Teach your kids money and then let your kids know how much you make. Sit your kids down. Sit your kids down. Mom, I need $10. Dad, I need $20. Mom, I'm trying to do this. Dad, I'm trying to go do this. Uh, come here, son. Daughter, sweetie, sit down. Let me show you something. Here are our bills, okay? Now, here are the bills we probably can get rid of, but here are our bills. See, see the internet? See the internet? Yeah, 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 yeah. The internet that you watch TV and play your video games on, that's how much that costs. Here's the uh, mortgage or the apartment rental amount, okay? Your little room that you have that you sit sitting there and you play games and have your friends and sleepovers. Yeah, that's how much that costs. Oh, the car that mommy and daddy drives you around in. That's how much that costs. We're still paying on that. Look at the insurance. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look how much that costs. Oh, the food bill. We forgot about the food bill. All the food that you eat, four to five hundred dollars a month because you like those little you like those little snacks and stuff like that. And of course, your mother on this new health kit. She wanted all this healthy and fruit food. We out of canned food. Hand Canned food is so horrible. It is so horrible. It has sodium. It has all types of preservative chemicals in it. Don't buy that shit for your family or for yourself. I know sometimes you just have to stretch your budget and do what you have to do. Buy frozen or fresh, but fresh is first, okay? But this is the point. You got to sit them down and look. Hey, hey, look at this. Look at these bills. This is how much. And then here's my pay stub, son. Sweetie, here's my pay stub. Look at that. We can't afford it. We can't afford it. Every time you ask for money, we can't afford it. Guess what you can do, though? Guess what you can do? You're under the age that I can actually make you work. Because some laws and states say, hey, they can't work or make them work or cut grass outside until they're 13, 14. But I tell you this, son, and I tell you this. No one said that you can't go out there on your own and don't let me know and start making your own money, knocking on people's door, taking out people's trash. Elderly, they will love. They will give you a dollar or two. Some elderly are cheap, though, because they're on a the budget. They give you a quarter. Watch out for them. But the point I'm making is you can go out and have your kids create jobs. Now, granted, know where they are. Know where they are. Tell them stay in the neighborhood, okay? And, and most likely, you have to be smart about this because the more you give to your kids, the more that you're taking away from them. What are you taking away? Their work ethic, their knowledge base, their entrepreneurship, their go out and get it. Because when I was young, okay, when I was young, and I've said this before, my mother died when I was 12, and I lived in group homes, and I had a fence for myself. But something inside of me said, I want money. I need money to buy those Boston baked beans, those peanut chews, those lemon heads, those Chico sticks, anything I ever wanted. I said, during the winter, because I'm from D.C., I go shovel snow. During the fall, I go rake leaves. I go cut people grass. I go take their trash out. I go pull weeds. Whatever I had to do for money, and sometimes I got blessed with a dollar for three hours of work, a dollar. Sometimes I got blessed with $50 for 30 minutes of work. They just want to help me out. So teach your kids money and also let your kids know how much you make. 
break it down to them so they understand. And then granted, every kid is not going to grasp this. That's fine. You teach them and you teach them and you teach them. And at the end of the day, you tell their ass, hell no. You go out and get a job and get it your damn self. This is Ross World where uh, your kids are growing up fast. And your cash not being stashed. Your income is getting low. You better get them kids out there and get them out the door. I just rhyme. Damn, I'm good. This is Ross World. I'm out.